Hello everyone. Today I have a special interview with a Filipino living in South Korea. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us what you do in South Korea? Hello everyone. So my name is Billy. I am living here in South Korea for almost 11 years and I work here in South Korea. How did you come to Korea? Please explain the process of foreign workers coming to Korea. I first came here in Korea year 2012. At first I also have no knowledge about South Korea until one of my family member invited me to work here in South Korea. So the very first thing that I do is like study Korean language. After studying Korean language, I need to pass the exam given by the government of the Philippines. Uh, if you are also interested working here in South Korea, you can go to a government website, which is poa.gov.ph, and they are hiring uh, foreign workers coming here in Korea. You need to make an account on their page, and then they're going to schedule an exam every year. So you need to pass the exam after passing the exam you need to wait for your employer to choose you but these days i think they are also doing some practicum exam and also like a speaking exam but before we only do the written examination basically it's not an agency based uh, work abroad it's just like a government to government working style please explain the difference between living in korea and the philippines so living in korea at first it was really difficult most especially if you don't speak korean so it's hard to live in South Korea especially if you are alone so you have no friends you have no family who will take care of you once you get sick the working culture here in South Korea is, is so different compared to the Philippines because Koreans always wants to work so fast always pali pali no slower movement and also they will be shouting you at first the Korean sajang nim pujang nim they're also going to shout to you yeah 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 like that I'm not used to that before living in the Philippines I haven't shouted by my superiors that much I'm just doing my job and and that's all if someone hit you you can just sue them it's on the law here in south korea too so as long as they are not touching you or hitting you it's okay to them after that they will also be kind to you after they shout to you they will feel a little bit sorry they feel so bad they will ask for company dinner please explain the pros and cons of living in korea so for the pros uh, of living here in South Korea, of course, it's the salary. Uh, the salary here in South Korea is much higher. In the Philippines, I am earning 6,000 to 7,000 pesos. Before I came here in Korea, I earned 10 times of that money. So that is the first pros of living here in South Korea. Cons for living as a foreigner in South Korea, you cannot do part-time jobs legally. So you that you are working illegally part-time jobs, they can report you to the labor office. And once the labor office saw you that you're working illegally, they can send you back to your home country. Can you disclose the salary that foreigners receive in Korea? Okay, so when I first came here in South Korea, the salary that I received is ranging from 40 to 50,000 pesos. That's actually super low compared to now. Also a pros of living here in South Korea. Every year, South Korean government are raising the salary. So after that, 40 to 50,000, no overtime, just only 8 hours a day, not working Saturday and Sunday. The next year, I think I'm earning like 50 to 55, then 55 to 60, then go ups and up. Then now, there are basic salary of foreign workers here in Korea, 85 to 100,000 pesos. If you're working overtime, you can earn much more. Like some people earning here like 120 to 150,000 pesos per month. That's a really much money. Have you ever experienced racism in Korea? Uh, actually, yes. I experienced a lot of racism while living here in South Korea. And I don't know if it's racism or not, but the first year that I came here in Korea, whenever I am on a subway, no one wants to sit beside me. I don't know what's the reason for that. There is a lot of space on my side and th there are lots of people there. There. They're not sitting beside me. I don't know why. That feels weird for me that time. And also on the Korean clubs, some clubs doesn't allow foreigners to enter their clubs. Lastly, please give advice for foreigners who want to work in Korea. The first thing is like you need to learn the language. Because if you don't know the language, you cannot live here for so long. Because you need to communicate with your co-workers, you need to communicate to the society, to the people that you're meeting every day. So you need to learn the language. It will be really hard for you if you don't know the language because they don't speak English. And you need to be used living alone. Because every time there is a lot of stress while living here in Korea, you need to get used that not all people will be good to you. There will be a lot of problems while living here in Korea. You must be patient. Keeping your goal on your mind, just think positive. Also, enjoy living in Korea. Thank you for sharing your valuable insights and stories with us today. Please like and subscribe.